Hey guys, Kev here, and I want to do a disassembly and slash first impressions of this. Now, I got this earlier today, so I haven't really had a chance to uh, carry it for a couple of days, but I have been carrying it uh, today uh, in my back left pocket, as I guess you call it a secondary, I just call it another knife in my back pocket um because it's right hand only so i tend to carry those in my back left if i'm carrying something with the left hand clip which i am carrying the uh, kun wu tao over there so just made sense anyway i'm really digging this uh left-handed i can do the reverse flick it is a weird ergonomic knife like it looks like it wouldn't be comfortable at all but it just fits right into my hand and my finger lands on this jimping, which is quite nice, actually. It's spread out, but it's not sharp. Um, you can see here there's a crawler logo over here with that awesome PVD finish. And the Arcane Design logo over here. Um, this ridiculous Warren Cliff. I mean, look at that. It's not very uh, thick, but, you know, it's a Warney, So that's kind of how it works. This awesome tumbled... Uh, plain titanium finish or gray finish black clip and then you have black hardware and these bronze pivot collars which is something we're going to change because I did order these black uh, pivot collars with the knife in the pre-order so when we take it apart in a second we'll go ahead and swap those out the action is incredible uh, it is dead centered uh, like most best tech OEM knives the pivot started walking pretty quick. Um, it was already giving me some blade play after just carrying it for a couple hours, flicking it maybe 20 times. Um, so I will go ahead and put some Permatex in there. I already did that, and I had it sitting here to dry or cure. And then I decided, why not just go ahead and do the disassembly so I can get it over with, have it dry, and then be done with it, right? It'll be good to go from henceforth. So let's go ahead and get into this bad boy. Uh, we have a T8 here. That's hopefully all we need. We may need two of them, depending on how our uh, hardware comes out back here. These, I'm guessing, are spinning barrels in here. It's something I've learned recently that a lot of knives do. And, um, yeah, if they don't come out just right, it's going to require two drivers. So, real quick, I'm going to get in here and try and get that um, Permatex out that I just put in there. Uh, you can see all that blue stuff. That's what that is. I'll clean it all up. We'll see uh, what the internals look like. Um, just want to make sure these aren't T6s. No, okay. Um, looks like this guy's going to come out here. Hopefully the other one follows suit and we don't have to worry about it. The Necronaut had a weird kind of internal uh, bearing system. It had like these um, washers on the sides. It was strange. So I'm just thinking it might be similar. We'll see. That should be it because everything else is internal there. So let me pop it open. See if I can get this guy off. Okay, so that's off. And then we should be able to shake it loose. There's a possibility that the clip... Nope. Oh, okay, perfect. Nice. So here you go. There's the inside. A little bit of weight relief there. I do kind of wish it had a little more weight relief. Like, they had room here. Um, it would have made it a little lighter. It is a little bit heavy at four, almost five ounces for a three and a half inch blade. Um, it's a bit of a nitpick, but it's a thing. So you just have standard bearings on this guy. Let's remember... The pivot here goes on the show side, so I gotta remember that, okay? I don't wanna mess anything up, so let me take that out. This goes over here. Let's do it that way. I'll put the pivot collar, I'll put them with the right thing so that way I don't. There's a little uh, steel washer right here. Uh, that is so that the bearing doesn't ride on titanium, obviously. I might swap the bearings while I'm at it. Uh, can't seem to get this guy off. I see. I'm guessing it's titanium, so this isn't going to help, right? No. Uh, I need something soft. I don't want to mess these up. I have brass 
technically this is brass, right? So it should not hurt it. I don't know how that works. Of course, I'm replacing it too, so it's okay if I scratch that a little bit. Although if I sell it, I really don't want to. Got it. I think it was just a uh, little bit of oil or something dried up, and that's what kept it from coming off. So let me put my pivot collars in the right place. So this guy, are they different at all? It must be different, right? I, I gotta be crazy if I'm thinking they're not different. Okay, so this goes... Ah, shit, now that one's stuck. <laughs> this goes here. And this goes here. And then I put these in here. I'll put them in with the bearings. Hopefully I won't have to put these back in. These are your 5 millimeter bearings. If anybody's curious if you're going to replace them. At least I'm pretty sure they're five millimeters. I'll confirm when I put it back together. Grab a cloth here and just clean everything. Very clean, very uh, well uh, taken care of from the factory, it looks like. Bearings are starting to wear a little bit of a track there. That's cool. Uh, here's your steel marking. M390, of course. Really good looking knife, guys. There is a good amount of milling on this side, so I take that back. It looks like they did... Uh, try to do some good milling there. That's awesome. Very, very straightforward build here, guys. I like that. That is a positive. So let me get some bearings. I have some five millimeter salt and peppers. Of course, I try those first every time. Thought I had more than that, but maybe I just used a pair. I don't know. Oh, no, I have another set right here. Maybe that's why I thought that. Uh, looks like they start to take color. So, if you have these bearings for a while without putting them in a knife, it looks like they start to darken a little bit. Which I guess makes sense. Phosphor bronze. They're going to get some patina, maybe. Uh, uh, we have our KPL heavy, KPL regular, and our Permatex if we need it. I gotta order some more of these microfiber cleaning cloths or cleaning sticks from KPL. These guys, these are amazing. I've been using these like crazy. Uh, you can reuse them, but uh, I'm just gonna order. I think they have a 50 pack on their website for like 10 bucks or 15 bucks. I'm gonna order those soon. And then of course, heavy and original. Uh, if you haven't heard uh, of KPL before, go check it out, knifepivotlube.com. The original is for like bearings and stuff, and then heavy is for like the detent track because it stays in place, heavy. Um, and that way it can, re a lot of the movement on a blade, especially if you have a heavier blade, you wanna go with the heavy. Um, and I do actually have a discount code uh, for Knife Pivot Lube. It is Lefty10. You'll get 10% off your order uh, at checkout. So if you wanna check that out, you can all right so this goes through here but i need the pivot collar first so let's pop that bad boy on this is gonna look dope guys and it's gonna match my neck or not that i no longer have which kind of sucks kind of do want to have it again um tier one gear and edc is planning to buy it off me he has it right now so uh, it's probably not coming back but it would match pretty cool if it does that'll be cool then I'll probably keep it, but I was going to sell it. It's flipper only. It's a little different than, you know, the crawler here that has the hole for deployment. I just, you know, it's a little nicer having that. Bearing fits perfectly. So, yes, guys, this is a 5 millimeter, uh, five millimeter pivot, 1 16th inch on the bearings. Okay, that's the thickness, I think. Um, so, just keep that in mind. Go ahead and just drop this heavy right onto the detent ball track, or uh, detent ball, and that will end up on the detent ball track. All right, and then I need the blade, nope, stop pin. 
Here's our stop pin. Again, guys, this knife was extremely clean. I bought it brand new, it just came from the drop, so there's really no reason to go crazy on cleaning it. Um, if you know what I mean, drop that in. And then put a little KPL down. You gotta be careful here because it's a uh, DLC blade. You can't see really how much KPL you're dropping in there. Um, spins in there perfectly well. I'm gonna put a little KPL right here and here. I already put it on the detent ball track. I have everything else ready to go. I need to line up the pivot. It's a D-shaped pivot. So I need that to the D shape to face down because that is where the cutout is right there. Looks like I got it. Pop that on. Bing bada boom. Perfect. All right, I'm going to lay this down. Be very gentle. Okay. Now I'm going to put uh, this pivot collar on. This is going way too well, guys. Just trust me, something's about to go wrong. Um, don't you worry your pretty little head. So here's our Permatex. Uh, I like this stuff better than Loctite because it gets kind of rubbery. Um, it's not as much a hardened material as Loctite is once it's dry. So you can technically still do like minor adjustments. Um, after you've let it cure a little bit. I try not to do that still, but technically you can. Um, so anyway, that's why I like this stuff. So let's see, pick it up, go this way. I'm not tightening anything. I want to make sure that I get my other screws in might as well just use a little dot on each screw that is not threading in so I'm going to close the knife because I think that's going to help in this situation carefully. There we go. Not tightening. Trying to be really careful with the uh, screws here because they're PVD coated. So, uh, I can scratch them real easily and take that coating off and then it's going to look like shit. So I need to be careful. So I am going to tighten these at this point. That is solid. Solid. This is why I like T8 because I can give it a little more torque and not have to worry about it. All right, I think that's just the blade because it's not tightened. Yeah. So before when I was tightening, I was able to just tighten it basically and it was dead centered. It's hard to see here, but. Yep, it's dead centered. Might be too tight. Yeah, we're a little too tight. So that's dead centered and it's tight, but I don't want it that tight. Like I don't want it to be not drop shut. I want drop shut, but I don't want play. So here's the game. A little more. No play. It's pretty good.
And guys, these bearings are gonna break in, so they're just gonna get better. So I need to be careful here not to go too loose. All right, as long as it's dropping when I disengage and shaking down relatively easily, that's good. It's nice and tight. There's no blade play whatsoever on this guy. Um, and it's dead centered. So that is perfect for me at this point um, because I know that those Gillian bearings are gonna break in and I will show you an example in a second. Uh, Gillian, skiff bearings, all that kind of good stuff. They don't just immediately turn into like drop shut guillotine action just because you installed them, right? That's why a lot of people who are impatient think that uh, skiffs and doing replacements on bearings aren't worth it. Um, but they 100% are, and I'm going to prove that to you right now. So I put Gillian bearings in this knife. This is the uh, something of Scene Company J Cape. And when I did that, before I put them in, the way the action was is it would go to here when you when you disengaged it, right? And then it would get stuck like right here and you'd have to like shake it down, right? And it was smooth and all that stuff. And 90% of people were fine with that, right? Then when I replaced the bearings, it was still exactly like that. But after playing with it for maybe a week, on off like you know me i have a million knives so probably like a hundred flips it just got smoother and smoother to the point where now you can see um it just it's a guillotine now it dropped shut on its own and that's because those gillian bearings broke in uh, and the same thing will happen to this knife now i want to look at the freaking beauty of this look at that guys i knew getting those black pivot collars was going to make a huge difference um i know he was selling on the pre-order he was selling timascus pivot collars and clip and i did not go for that because normally i'm not a um timascus kind of guy but i'm thinking that could look sexy on this knife but look at this guys this knife is absolutely gorgeous um i chose well i cho I was gonna get the all murdered out but i just don't like all murdered out and then i was gonna get the satin blade with the black handle but i don't know it just seemed right to have the black blade on this guy and look at that lefty spidey flick um this thing i mean just first impressions like this thing is cool, guys. Um, if you're right-handed, you're going to have a much better time um, with the Spidey Flick, um, probably with the Flipper Tab, uh, Thumb Flick. Like You're probably going to have a better time with all that because it's made for righties. Left-handed, uh, the Thumb Flick is really good because you have no lock bar to contend with. It's right here. Pivot collar's covering it. You're pretty much covered there, right? And that feels really good, actually, that thumb flick left-handed. Um, the flipper, again, you have that uh, frame lock that's covered. So you just put your finger here, flip. You're good to go. The detent on this knife, they definitely uh, made it a little stronger than it was on the Necronaut. And I really like that. I'm glad that he went and did that. Um now, the left-handed reverse flick, you just have to get it right. It's not very intuitive. It's not really... It, if you're not comfortable having to adjust a little bit for the spidey flick, um, it's not going to work great. Um, it's made for a right-handed person, guys, so like I understand that. Um, normally, it would bother me a bit, but because this knife is so unique and badass... You know, I'll probably deal with it, um, you know, long term. We'll see. Um, but I can get in a good position and I can get a very satisfying uh, reverse flick. And then I can grip it immediately. It feels really good there. Um, but if I put my hand like this, if I just get in the wrong spot, I'm going to get that lock bar and I'm not going to get it. You have to have your hands on that clip. You have to be down low, basically. Um, you have to tuck it 
into your palm, get your thumb riding on that clip, and then get some pressure on that uh, hole. That's what she said, and then give it a good flick. Also what she said. So um, that's the way you're gonna wanna operate this as a lefty. As a righty, standard Spidey flick applies. Just get your finger in there and flick it. You know, you're good to go. Uh, I'm really excited about this knife, guys. Um, I really like the Necronaut a lot, and I am loving this even more. Um, so I cannot wait to see what Israel has coming with the Abyss um, and that pry bar that's on the way as well. So I'm really keeping an eye on Arcane Design, guys. Uh, really cool dude. Let's zoom in, and we'll just take a quick look at it up close, and then we'll uh, get you out of here. So just take a look at the uh, stone washing or whatever tumbling on these scales. Um, Best Tech is the OEM on this. And they were also the OEM on the Vero Isotope. And this kind of stone wash, tumbling, whatever, this looks a lot better to me than it did on that Vero. Um, it just looks like it's meant to be this way. Um, that one just looked like it was all over the place. Um, I don't know how to explain myself. It's like when they did the stone washing, they had huge media, small media, 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 like whatever. And this just seems more uniform, even though it is, you know, scattered as well. And then look at that sexy pivot collar we just added. The bronze is cool. I like that he started with that and then offered the option to change. That's really cool. Clip is really nice. Um, this like triangle at the end, that's what comes out of your pocket. You get used to it, it's a little weird at first, but um, nice long backspacer here is titanium, I believe, that's really nice. Um, and then over here you have the uh, pivot. I love the D-shaped pivot, pivot. that's awesome. Um, minimal hardware, dead centered on this uh, DLC blade, and then Take a look at the edge on here. Um, absolutely spectacular work on this blade. Look at all these swedges and everything down to this ridiculous tip. Um, this is a flat grind, I believe. I don't think it's a hollow, but you could probably judge it. Um, just incredible. This is one of the better pieces I've seen from Best Tech as an OEM. Um, action is phenomenal. It's just a really really cool piece and i am super excited to be checking it out so a uh, full review to come in a week or so um and keep your eyes out hopefully he'll have some extra maybe he can sell on his website but uh, hopefully you got one if you wanted one that is the arcane design crawler i appreciate you guys stopping by it was pretty smooth huh uh love you guys so much i hope you have a fantastic day and i We'll catch you later.